So in thinking about what psychology is, I think it can be helpful to think about where psychology goes sort of within the broader scheme of science. And so I'm going to show you one way to think about this, but please remember that there are actually many different ways to think about this. And in fact, if you disagree with me or if you can think of another way to think about this, please note it in the comments section below. So we start out with sort of sciences more broadly. And we can split science up into multiple categories. So one of them is the physical sciences. And these include things like physics and astronomy and also chemistry. But then we also have the, the biological sciences or, or the life sciences. And these include things like biology and ecology then we also have another type of science and that is the behavioral sciences and this includes psychology But it also includes a, a lot more than that. It includes things like sociology and, and cultural anthropology. As well as things like economics. And so in my head, the way that I separate these things out is, is this. So I, when I think about the physical sciences, I think about the fact that these things would exist even if there were no people. And obviously this sets up a paradox, you know, clearly there need to be people to observe these things and to write them down. But, you know, you can conceive of the fact that, you know, space would exist even if there were no people on Earth. In fact, the physical sciences could basically exist without life. You know, even if there was no life on Earth, you know, we could assume that there would still be physics and astronomy, you know, and, and inorganic chemistry. But when we think about the life sciences, there's sort of a difference. So again, we really don't need, we don't need people for the life sciences to exist, but we do need life. And so here we have sort of one step up and that these things are sort of the study of, of living things. But then we get to behavioral sciences and then we also see a big difference between the two previous categories. So not only does behavioral science uh, rely on life, but it relies strictly on people. And so the behavioral sciences could not exist if there were not people, because it is the study of people and the study of people's behaviors. And so in my head, this is sort of a great way to sort of separate it out and to also think about what sort of psychology is sort of in the broader scheme of things. But of course, you know, there, there, there's trouble with this definition. So, you know, one question would be, you know, under, under this definition, um, would history be a science? Would history be a, a behavioral science? You know, what about philosophy? You know, what, what about literature? And it also doesn't help answer, you know, another question. You know, what about things that attach things together? You know, what about biochemistry? But, you know, those questions aside, I think that this is sort of a really good way to sort of split up the sciences and to think about where psychology belongs.